Depending on the weight, use the highest guard you can. In this situation, I'm using a number two. Every time you switch guards, try to brush them off as much as possible. Once you remove the weight, start from the bottom and work your way up. With kids, usually you want to just start with the zero and then work your way down to T-edgers and then balders. Usually with kids, the shorter the better, so I will perform a high fade using a zero midway and then I will blend my way up. After I set my guideline, I will focus on the lower part using the Andy Slimline Pro to remove extra weight before using my balders. Usually to prevent kids from itching and moving constantly, I like to apply talc powder onto my neck duster followed with the blow dryer. To save time and a lot of movements, especially for kids, try to keep as much hair off as possible. With kids, I try to unbutton the cape and dust their neck off to continue. That way, we won't waste no time. Now I'll perform by using my Bronze Series 9 on the lower areas and rock your clipper up slowly. That way the kids won't feel so sensitive when it comes down to this step. Any bronze series is great for balding from five, seven, or nine. You're still recording. <laughs> and he still stirs at himself. Oh, you're so handsome. <laughs> now that I'm done focusing on the lower part. I will use a number one guard to create my next guideline and work my way up. After each step, like mentioned, I try to keep the hair off as much as possible. Next, I will use my half guard open to remove the weight line I created with my number one guard open. The half guard I'm using is my personal favorite, which is the premium guards. Next step with kids is to find other things to distract them from moving and itching. In this case, I started by giving a mirror. And then the neck duster usually lasts at least five to eight minutes. Then my go-to is hand them two random tools, a brush and a comb or a brush and guards. Teach them how to clean it. That way it will prevent them from moving and they'll get distracted for a long period of time.
poking me with a comb. He pokes my arm. Really, King? You have to do all the movement when I'm doing something important over here. <laughs> I can't. Please. I'm so serious. Trying to rob me or what? I'm on my glove or my watch? King? <laughs> King? Where are most I know the comb in his mouth isn't sanitary and it looks questionable to you, but it will be sanitized and washed, so don't worry. I don't even want to talk too soon. <laughs> yep. Yeah. With lineups, we try to keep it as natural as possible. Just brush the baby hair down and work your way from the center of the forehead. Rock it to your left and rock it to your right. Yeah. You want that? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that last time too. No, you have it. It's yours. So crazy how you could sit better than Lou. Oh yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's okay. okay. I'll get yeah. it. Get the mirror. Get the mirror. Wow. Oh, hit your head. Wow. I still have his pictures from last time when he's smiling. Say cheese. Say the cheese. Time yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Say yes, cheese. Cheese. Say What's cheese. Up, My bad. Yeah, he goes, damn. Oh, don't trying... be getting in my moment. Yeah, it's my <laughs> selfie. <laughs> <laughs> you mind your biz. <laughs> All set. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. He goes, bro, let me have a moment. Say cheese. Really? High five. Right. He's, I'm going to drop the mirror. <laughs> Yes, smile. Yes, yes. I kiss one. Put your head back right here.
Usually you want to get permission from their parents if you want to use a razor to perform a nice clean edge up. Remember to always stretch the skin out while performing a straight razor edge up, especially on kids. Yeah, you are a good phone actor. Yeah, yeah. Say bye. Say bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>